So I'm here with Chip uh, from Sixth Sense, who is one of on, on one of the teams for the Ultimate Coder Challenge. Uh, they're working on the Puppet program. Does that have an official name? Uh, we, we're calling it Puppet in Motion for now. And can you tell me a little bit about uh, how everything's coming together for your latest build? Yeah, it's been coming together great. Um, what we have here is, uh, you know, we can uh, control both the pig and the wolf. We're doing a Three Little Pigs uh, presentation for now. Um, it's kind of a puppet theater idea, so we're going to have different stories that you can choose and then uh, you can come up and just put your hand up, control a puppet, and uh, it records your voice so you can change the story however you want. We just kind of provide the, um, the environment and the backgrounds and the, the puppets themselves and then let you have fun. You can uh, record what you're doing and upload it to Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. And how have people been responding to it that have used it? Uh, so far, the response has been really great. Um, people love the simplicity of it and just being able to, you know, walk up and really intuitively just put your hand up and control a puppet. And, uh, yeah, people having fun. A lot of people just coming up and big smiles on their faces and, you know. And do you see this developing into uh, a real product? Uh, we certainly hope so. This is kind of our uh, proof of concept. And uh, so far, the response has been great. And... I think at this point we're pretty sure we want to move forward and turn it into a, a real product once the contest is finished. So you were telling me uh, you were planning on implementing a way to actually blow the house down? Yeah. Um, one of the things we're thinking about is um, you know, when you get to the point where you want to blow the house down is actually blowing on the camera uh, and having that trigger the, the house actually being destroyed and turning into a destructible. Uh, so do you have the, it looks like you have the physics necessary already to do that, is that correct? Yeah, the physics are in there. Um, I don't know that we have it rigged up yet to be destroyed. We're not planning on that for the contest, but that is, well, actually, I don't want to say that. It's one of our stretch goals. If we can get it in by the end of the contest, it'll, it'll be there. So as the designer, um, did you come up basically with the entire experience and the concept for the game? You know, it's funny, the, the concept for the game uh, came up when we were um, discussing what to do for um, the perceptual computing camera for CES. Uh, and uh, we had the idea to do a marionette style um, puppet program because, you know, what, what this camera can do that nothing else can do right now is, um, you know, track each individual finger. Um, and we were thinking marionettes, something like this, would be great. So we were thinking the camera would actually be on the um, table in front of the laptop facing up. You'd control your hands this way and you'd actually see the strings coming down from your hands on the, uh, on the screen itself controlling marionettes. But then we decided that you know controlling a real marionette is actually a really hard skill. It's, a, it's an expert puppetry thing and we wanted this to be really accessible for kids or anybody to just walk up and be able to do it. So we decided at least for um, for the duration of the contest, we were going to stick to hand puppets and do that. Very good. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me, and good yeah. luck and the challenge. Thanks, man. Yep.